This is a TM1602. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can view the files of this NAND flash, which is the EMMC uh, with the Linux. So first we have downloaded the Unix NT software. Uh, Here we can go to desktop using uh, I have I have Unix NT connected. Uh, first we detect and we have this file and in 1.26 this area will be empty until I read it or load it. So in here I'm going to read it and I'm going to read the pm1602.bin and we can save it by the way I'm running this software under Linux uh, you can use this read and write on the windows but the file we read we can put it to Linux and we can mount it to the file system This uh, Linux uh, is in a virtual box uh, on my Windows PC, but it's purely Windows uh, Linux, and it's sl slightly slower when I, it's running on the the virtual box. The file of the uh, EMMC or NAND flash is about one hundred twenty kilobyte uh, megabyte. So after finished, we need to exit. Otherwise the file cannot be used because we have the file open. So now we exit. And in here, we can go to TM. Uh, and we have seen this file is created. And uh, TM1602.bin, I just created this thing. And we can use FDisk to display the partitions tm1602.bin and you can see there are I think 13 partitions so most data um, so in order to view this content we can mount it to a place let's say make dir call tm1602 files and then we need to uh, sudo part x dash a dash v and the file is tm1602.bin this is the file we just read and give the password of your root and you can see we have added these things i have tried several of them and i can show you one of the partition we can see the files so now we can sudo mount dash o loop def loop 10 p oh let's first look at okay ls def loop 10 star and we have so many of them i'm going to mount this file so let's copy so sudo mount o loop paste tm1602 files and now let's look at tm1602 files Look, we have so many files, and if you look at here, there is a log file. Wow, let's take a look at what is that? CAT, sudo, CAT, PC. And this is the log of one of the boot, probably. And let's look at the files, let's say CD6. And sudo, scat, Aries. So these are the files on the NAND flash 
through this EMMC. So we, when we view these files, we are viewing similar or exact same as what the CPU looks at when it's running on Linux. So we can even modify the files. Let's look at CD2 and you can see there are certificate files and you can see the these are symbolic links and there's also a directory pk and you can see these are binary files which is certificate files if you want decide to modify it is available for you to do it so sudo let's unmount it sudo u mount yeah that's p6 doc tm 1602 tm files yeah let's go there oh we have so many files here and I hope these uh, files make sense to someone. Okay, so let's unmount it. So do you mount. And let's mount another one. Seven. Actually, this file is writable, so you can modify the content of the file and modify the binary after you uh, remount it. And then we can program this binary file back to the modem. So I think the EMMC method exposed more possibilities for the user that, who wants to access the content of the modem.